Hey there, now in this video we're going to talk about five elements that make a good uh, video for YouTube or whatever platform uh, that we kind of, I'm not going to say we discovered it by accident, but we had a video that did really good. And I don't know how many subscribers did it get us. I think you ended up with, uh, from that video, around 200. Around 200 subscribers like we picked up off of one video. So and that's, you know, we, we say we had a subscriber explosion. <laughs> now, you know, an explosion, let's, let's be clear, an explosion could be a nuclear explosion or it could be a firecracker. <laughs> you know, so it's all relative. But for us... Or a temper. Or a temper, yeah. <laughs> Some people have an explosive temper, yeah. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to go over these five elements that make a good video. And, you know, I, I don't want to say out of one video we become experts, but what I... What I did was I went back because, you know, we're like many of you. Uh, we have a small channel. We're up to about 750 subscribers. So for one video to get 200, that's an explosion for us. Yeah. But um, then you started researching why. What yeah. made that video different than the rest? Right. Because we've, we've had our channel for a good while, several years. And you discovered the five I did okay so uh, over the years our channel has slowly been growing we you know we we pick up a subscriber or two here and there and our views have slowly been going up we're putting out but this one did so good I said I have I've got to figure out what did I do different what did we do different <laughs> yeah we didn't try to do anything different. We just did. right. We were just being ourselves, but we accidentally followed what a lot of people have. I've seen videos telling you, you know, you need to do this, 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 and this, and your video needs to be structured like this. And we can, we kind of did those things on this uh, on this video. And I I, I kind of figured that out when I went back, or we went back and we looked at it and just kind of analyzed it. So, so number one. Number one. First thing you have to do is have a hook. A hook. You gotta. You gotta hook them. And the title. You need something that's gonna draw them to it and want them. Sure. Make them want to watch. Something in the title or the first few seconds of your video has to basically be a hook. You know, it gets their attention and makes them want to watch your video. Right. And we did that on this video. It was kind of in the title. Yeah. You know. Wasn't on purpose. But. Right. Didn't do it on purpose, but when I went back and looked at it, I realized, okay, that was that was a hook, you know, that we put on there. Now, we'll go ahead and say the, the video was about our trip we made to the villages over yeah. in Florida. Uh, we went to visit the villages and see what it was all about, and we just did a simple video. <laughs> we thought. We thought it was just a simple video about uh, our visit, but like most of you, if you've got a YouTube channel, especially us smaller channels, you know, there's a lot of videos out there that are, you know, if you'll do these two things, you'll have a gumillion, gum gumzillion subscribers in, in three days and you'll be rich. You know, it's a lot of Can those you write that number down for gumzillion? me? Gumzillion? Yeah, I just made that up. That's a big number. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the second thing would be an introduction, yeah. which we already yeah, we do that on all of them anyway. Yeah, and we, we've, we've got a can introduction that we normally play on ours, and I think it's on that video uh, we, we put it. But for this video, we're just we're kind of telling you, you know, who we are. We're just a small YouTube channel. We're a retired couple, you know, and we kind of do a video vlog of whatever we're doing. Halfway anyway. Yeah, halfway. You know, we don't put one out every week or anything like that, like some channels do. But anyway, we're a small channel. Well, yeah. Old couple. So the the third one is going to be explore. You got to to. Yeah, go ahead and go into your content, yeah, your content. Of, of what you're doing. So on that video, you know, the the hook was really in the title. We we you know said we're visiting the villages, and then we asked the question, "Will we move here?" Didn't think anything of it when I put that together, but in hindsight, looking back, and I'm that's like, a no, not yeah, right now. yeah, we're not. That that's a hook, uh, but I didn't realize it at the time. And then we had our introduction, which is step two, 
And then step three, you go into the the discovery of the what your video is about. Video. Yeah. So in that video, we talked about the villages and kind of how it's laid out. What we liked. What we what liked. We saw. What we saw. What we did. Just uh, you know the the meat of what our trip entailed and and what we did while we were there. You know. Yeah. So that was the third part. So the fourth element of a good video is what? It's the key moment. The key moment. So like in that video, the key moment is when we revealed, no, we're not going to move there. It kind of right answered now. that question. So that was the the key moment. Put it kind of last. Yes. Yeah, you know, it's towards the end. We're not going to move to the villages, even though we loved everything about yeah. it. We really did. Look, if I'm you've never ready, been there. I'm not ready to move. You know, you need to go check it out. But there's other things guiding our decision, and we're just not we're just not there right now. Maybe later, but, but not now. So then the fifth and final element is a conclusion. We just kind of wrapped it all up and, and said what we just said here. We liked our trip. We enjoyed it. We love the lifestyle, but we're not gonna, not gonna move there. So in hindsight, looking at that video, we did that one through five in that order, just like kind of on accident. Yeah, absolutely, it was an accident. <laughs> but that video has gotten more views than any. It's got thousands of views, and we picked up two hundred, over two hundred subscribers. 200 and if you're one of those and you're watching that now, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Now, you know, there is a, a final thing. It's kind of a freebie that a lot of videos will do after those five. There is a number six, uh, and that's a call to action, which basically you ask the person that's watching your video to do something. And usually, like I'm about to do now. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Yeah, what is it? What is it? Uh, <laughs> You put a video up and say, you know, now that you've learned this, go watch my video about, you know. So we'll put it somewhere in I got here. It. Okay, right there. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to say, look, now that we've talked about these five elements and the video that it was on, go watch that video and see if you can pick out those pick five right things here. as we did them. And again, it was completely on accident, <laughs> but, but uh, it worked. So. Maybe this, this will help somebody. We're going to try to do stay with these five elements as best we can on our future videos and keep it real. You know, we're not going to just lay out something and try to make these five. You know, we're just going to do our videos like we normally do. Keep it real, but try to try to stay within that that framework. Yeah. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one.